I do mean Wednesday. Hot, hot, hot Wednesday. Hump day. But we got some good things going on, folks. Our last show was hot. It was so hot, we had over 300 views. And that's how you want to start the summer off as we get ready for spring ball, as we get ready for summer basketball, and whatever else we got going on. We got a lot of things going on. We got RT about to fly out to Cancun because his baby boy is about to tie the knot. I got my man Big E. He got some big news. Rose State got some big things going with him. (laughs) And guess what? We're going to keep it 100. We're going to talk about our two young athletes we had on last week, uh, Mrs. Uh, Newby and, and Mr. Flagger, both did some big things. I know Flagger ended up hitting that 19 home run. Tied a record at Chata and, and Miss Newby, she took care of business in state and regionals. And, and she, hit her goal. And she hit her goal. But we'll get into that. We're going to have a special guest tonight. You know, it's football season, and we got them Eagles that's trying to win their first 5A state championship Uh-oh. coming up. We're going to Uh-oh. have Coach Jones on. You know, we got this Colorado guru right here. <laughs> He's going to talk about the Titans a little bit, and we're going to get into a little bit of 6A, big and 6A small. And then, hey, we're going to get this stuff hot. It's hot outside, folks. And believe me, we're in a hot box today, and it ain't it ain't chilly in here. So if you start seeing RT uh, sweat, call nine one one and get the Permex over here. But what's going on, guys? Go ahead. What's going Ooh. on? He said, "Go ahead." He said, like, "You looked at me. You looked at I, me like you wanted. You were waiting on me to say something, but yeah, I'll let you, you know, go first. I want to hear from Big E. Big E, All what's right. up? Talk so, to us. Well, talk to us. <clears> I just you know finished I mean? up. Just finished up the semester last week. Finished with uh, A's and B's. Got okay. all A's and B's in my classes this uh, past semester. That's, so, that's and I haven't done that job. since I was in like couldn't tell you the last time I did that but um so I got that done and then I got uh got some pretty exciting news so next semester yes, I'll sir. be I'll be the sports editor for the uh student newspaper at Rose State College 15th Street, 15th Street News so. that's what I'm talking about baby that's yeah. keeping it that's keeping <laughs> yeah. it 100 yeah. Yeah. Big appreciate, e. appreciate that but uh yeah other than that I mean I got a class I got to take over the summer and I got some trips planned over the summer so okay. that's all I got going on Hey, that's big right. time, man. That's big time, man. You know, Big E's doing big things, man. That's what I like to hear. You know, like I said, RT is, you know, he, he flies out this week. His baby boy's getting married this coming Monday yeah. in Cancun. He'll work on his tan. Maybe when he come back, oh, he'll be yeah. as dark as me. Probably not. But, hey, wish for thinking. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm excited. Next next Saturday night, my baby girl, Olivia Nicole man. Johnson. The last time you know her as a Johnson, yeah. she'll be a Miss Kennedy. She will be walking down the aisle with her. Future husband, Mr. Cam Kennedy, great young man. I, I am tickled to call him my son-in-law. But, hey, you know what? No daddy who ever wants their baby girl to, you know, think a man's good enough for his for his daughter. But I am blessed to say I am. Cam is a good guy, man. I can honestly say this on this show, saying keep it at 100, that my daughter is marrying a great man, her best friend, a great young man. I mean, treats her like a queen that she is. And uh, I just told him I just feel sorry for him because she's kind of like her mama. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Chris, I'm joking if you see this. But, no, folks. Live uh, gonna kick your well, butt. Well, you said what? Live going to kick your butt. <laughs> but, no, man, I, I'm, I'm happy for them, though, man. My, my baby girl just graduated fifth grade. She'll be moving see? on uh, next year. She'll be uh, representing the uh, CA uh, numbers and colors for a little bit. Until I decide what yeah. I'm going to do from, you know, okay. uh, after that. But okay. uh, she's excited. Oh, I'm excited, man. You know, she'll get to, you know, go to school with some of her friends, and we'll go from there. So, uh, guys, you know, we're going to get the show jumping and popping, though. You know, yep. uh, you know, we'll get it going with sports, though. But I, like I said, I am I am tickled for the two young kids that was on this show, as you both got to know them pretty well, you know, coming on the show. Uh, both of them doing big things. Flagger just receiving a 
a D1 offer, and I got to say, he broke that news this afternoon, so that's what we do on Keep 100. Now, we didn't tweet it out. And he hasn't tweeted anything out. No, he hasn't tweeted anything out. I saw a a tweet from uh, the Choctaw Baseball account, uh, which I want to say is ran by uh, the head coach. I forget his name. Um, Shane Hawk. Hey, I really apologized last night, last time. I was calling Coach Hawk, Matt Hawk, Matt Hawk. Used to be my neighbor, guy I went to school with, uh, mm-hmm. used to work with at Miller Coors. Uh, he's been in, in, in the Tata Nakoma Park teaching program for the last probably 15, 20 years. Yeah, he's been there for a while. And, and Shane was a, a Middle City guy, too. So they both were bombers. So yeah. I apologize for calling uh, uh, Shane, I mean, Hawk, Shane, but everybody knew I was talking about the baseball coach. The baseball team came up short. Came up they, a little uh, short, they yeah. Got, they got beat in, uh, uh, in the bottom of the seventh or whatever, how many innings they play uh, yeah. by – a walk-off single from Edmund Memorial. Edmund Memorial has a top pitcher. One of the top pitchers in the state. They faced him, came back. They had to win two. Uh, got down. One, the first one came back in the second game. Kind of got beat, man. But, you know, they got a bunch of great young men that's going to be going off and doing some great things, you know. Uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> Ethan Rome, uh, one of their, you know, guys that started for three years. Uh, you know, you got um, Davis is going to go pitch up at Oklahoma State. You got Boyles is going to go to OU. Um, you know, you got Holloway. I think he's going to go pitch one. So they got a bunch of guys. Jesse, a young man that, you know, filled out for the Keeper 100 scholarship. Yep. Got a bunch of young men that's going to go off and play college ball. They did come up short. But, hey, sometimes that's the way it happens. Sometimes you can have all the talent you want, but sometimes the ball just bounces the other way. And it, it did that day, you know. But great job with Shane and, 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 and all the coaching staff that's with him, Moores. Uh, Beckel, you know, all those guys, man, you know, good job. You know, what you've done this year, I know it came up short, and everybody's goal is to win the gold ball. But uh, the gold ring, gold ball, whatever you want to call it. But, hey, I guess who did get it done was Kate Von Newby. She took care of business in the state championship. Yes, she did. She took care of business. You know, she came on here young. Sophomore. Sophomore. Soft-spoken sophomore. You know, said her goals, said she prayed, and I heard her. You know, God will listen to your prayers. You pray, he'll, he'll listen to them. Just hey, give him your time. Amen. Hey, just give him your time, and he, hey, hey, he'll answer prayers for you. And guess what? She ended up running a 14, 4-8 in, 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 in 100 meter hurdles as a sophomore, took care of business, came back in, 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 in her other two events. She took second in the 4 by 2 lost to Westmore, one of the better teams in the state, and then they took fifth in the, in the 4 by 2 So, hey, 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 Ed Memorial, like I tell you, year in, year out, man, they're a Hell of a track team. They they, they they find a way to win out there on that track. I mean, they do big things. You know, you heard last time we was on the show, you had Mr. Cam on here. That guy's been coaching since Moses was around, and he's still doing his <laughs> thing. So I just tell you what, you know, when you got old old schools that can go in there and teach you, a, 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 you know, how they say teach a, teach a dog a new trick. Yeah. Hey, all it is might be a little step to get you out of the blocks a little bit quicker. And guess what? Whatever they worked on that week leading up to regionals and state, she ended up setting the, her, you know, her goal record was a fourteen point four eight. Man, so congratulations to that young that young lady. She will receive not one D one offer, two D one offers, probably three or four, five, six, seven, eight. She be like LeBron when he went to Cleveland. He only won one, I think, or two in Cleveland. In Cleveland. No, yeah. no, not Cleveland, Miami. When he went to Miami, he's two. like, I'm going to win six, yeah, seven, he won two. He won two. Yeah. But I think she's going to get more, two, because she already got one. <laughs> she got two more years to get, you know, her yep. junior and senior year. So I think that young lady will do big things. You're going to keep hearing about it. We'll have her on the show again. Uh, I think she's an excellent young lady, mm-hmm. well-spoken, well-educated, done a great job. You know, Bobby and, and, and her dad, you know, Jonathan, both have done a great job raising that young lady. So, uh that's where we're at, though. Big E, I mean, uh, RT, what, what, what you got on your mind? I know Carl Arbor's over there fighting and, and, and getting ready to try to win a state championship. But they got that team that's right there in front of you that's going to try to hold them back. And then Bill City Bombers. Yeah. Dell City Eagles. We're going to have their coach <laughs> on. And I'm pretty sure he got some big things to talk about. Well, we can't wait. We can't wait. I like it. Coach Joe. Coach Joe. Let's get it. Yeah. But you know, we we got about five or ten more minutes before we okay. bring them on. Okay. Eve, what you got? Can you can you tell us some of the uh, state champions, uh, placers, and, and and winners in all sports? Absolutely, I can. That's so, what I'm talking about. We <laughs> keep it 100, folks. So yeah, so in baseball, uh, we got Awasa winning in 6A. Mm. Yes, sir. Duncan win- winning in 5A. Mm-hmm. Woo! They, they, winning in 4A. Who, who, who did Duncan play in the finals? Piedmont. Piedmont. So I mean, Col- who knocked off Collinsville? Because Collinsville knocked off them Titans. Yeah, the Duncan. Yeah, it was Duncan that knocked off Carl Lowry. Yeah, no, no Collinsville. It was, it was Collinsville. Collinsville. Oh, Collinsville knocked, knocked him out. Off. That's right. That's yeah. right. So, so, 
I'll just tell you right there, that's and big Duncan time. Duncan beat Collinsville. Right. Man, that's big time because Collinsville's pretty salty. I mean, they, they knock Carl Albert off in wrestling. Football. Football. Baseball. And baseball. They had the three, three, I ching, think, ching, ching, ching. Yeah. I think yeah. Collinsville figured out Carl Albert's. That might be y'all's kryptonite. Uh, yeah. No, but, might you know, have to work out for Collinsville. shines, you know, every now and then. Uh, mm. He shined good on them this year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which, and you and you and the Bombers. I mean, I mean, I, I'm not okay. related to no team. I'm related to Soldier okay. Creek Tigers. I can't tell. <laughs> you <laughs> switching that? Yeah. So I'm related. Switching to, up. I'm related he to yellow the jacket. He a tight. I ain't never. I ain't, I ain't been a yellow jacket since 2020. He probably. Gonna, I ain't been a yellow jacket since 2020. I'm gonna tell you, I ain't good. been a yeah. yellow jacket since 2020. You know what? Hey, that's why. That's why you like LeBron so much. Because we jump. We jump shit. I See, love it. He said it. I ain't, mm-hmm. I ain't been a Yellow Jacket since 2020. When my boys walked down that aisle, I walked down that damn football field yeah. and graduated that football field, I took all I ain't, I ain't got one shit in this house to say Yellow Jacket, a gold standard, a blue standard, or any kind of know. standard. Bullshit you not. I'm keeping it 100 right where's, here. Where's, where's Gabe's ring? He, oh, that's, he, hey, that's wrestling, baby. That ain't got that in there. Where did he earn it at? He earned it. He earned so it with Coach Benny. in the wrestling Benny. room. He earned that it with Coach. That last name Johnson is on the wall. He earned right? it with Benny Coleman. Okay. That's a whole different. That's a whole different. I mean, we can debate on that all day. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can debate on that all day. I think the last state championship that came through Chata was what? Ooh. Wrestling. Oh, wrestling. You sure? Right. What else they win? Uh, they they, they wanted the girls basketball. <laughs> the boys basketball ain't won it. Track ain't won it. Hey. Baseball had nineteen kids. Came up short regional. Moving on. Thank we got uh, class in Class 4A. 4A, we got Blanchard <laughs> beating, uh, Tuttle. beating Tuttle. And then you got uh, in Class 3A, you got Washington. Beating Kingston. Yep. Washington is, a, a, hey, they're going to be the new powerhouse in what? what is that, 3A? 3A. 3A, I mean, think about it. The football team, the basketball team, the girls, I mean, just everybody's moving out there and they're going to shut it off to so many people that can be in there that they're going to be like, you can't get in. It, it's like a fraternity out there, coach. Er. I mean, it's because er. you got, you know, you got John Hancock. And you got, you know, Chris uh, uh, Reynolds, uh, you know, out there as a superintendent. So they know what they're doing, man. They're building a powerhouse, man. You got the indoor facility, one of the best indoor facilities that you you can train football in any sport at. So, a hey, great job to Washington. Yep. Then uh, Class 2A, you got Silo winning their 12th state championship in in baseball. God, that's awesome. That's yeah. And then you got uh, Red Oak in Class A and Roth in Class B. Congratulations to all those teams. Yep. Man, the weather was, you know, kind of windy, hot and all that. But congratulations, you know. You know, when, when baseball and track ends, you know what it starts. You know what you know that bell starts ringing? What time is it? Spring ball. Spring ball. Spring ball. I love spring ball. Yeah. And then, you, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead, Biggie. I'm sorry. All right. uh, moving on to slow pitch softball. You got Southmore winning 6A. North Rock Creek winning 5A. Talk about, talk about who the sophomore beat. Uh, let's see. You know who they beat. Who they beat, Tony? You know. <laughs> you know who they beat. Who they beat? I don't. You tell me. Six eight. I mean, that's your school. Oh, Chata. They beat Chata. All right. You sure? They beat Chata in the finals. All right. Well, good on them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good on them. <laughs> I love it. See, you made me lose my place yeah, now. Yeah, you got, you got <laughs> they, they lost seventeen to seven. Oh. So I won't beat them like that. Moving on. I guess. Class 4A. <laughs> we, got, we got Washington winning again, another state championship. Uh, and slow, then you got. Slow pitch? Slow pitch, yeah. There you go. There you go. And then uh, Class 3A, you got Pacola. Class 2A, you got Cato. And then Class A, you got Turner. Turner. There you go. And then uh, let's see, what other spring sports we got? We got Strocker. Hey, soccer, you, you know, Cricket Oak. Won their first Crooked ever over. state championship in any sport. That's in big. Wow. We gotta have that. Whoever, we gotta have that superintendent on that coach, athletic director, whoever it is over there. We gotta have them on. They're they're making history. History. Yeah. History. Yeah. So, uh, yep. Boys soccer. You got uh, Norman North winning six A. Santa's Face South winning five A. Clinton winning four A. And Crooked Oak winning three A. That's big time. Congratulations, Crooked Oak. And then moving on to girls soccer. Big love. You got Deer Creek winning six A. Creek. Bishop McGinnis winning 5A, Holland Hall winning 4A, and Heritage Hall winning 3A. And then let's get into – this has actually become my favorite sport as of recently. Let's get into golf. Okay. I like golfing. I've been 
now that it's summertime, got my clubs. I'm gonna be out on the links every folks, single day. One hundred every this, single uh, week. Hey, keep, I wish I could be there. I really folks, do. But I got one hundred. He ain't got no golf game. How about we and you play sometime? Uh oh. We, hey, I got we, some, lie? we could put some money on the line. Okay. Hey, I, hey, hey, I got my own shoes out there. I hope you do. I don't need my own shoes. Without them, you tearing up the turf out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what Eric Sanford told me. What's that? He said, "This is your Christmas, your birthday present. You turn fifty, right?" <laughs> I said, "Yes, sir." He said, "I'm gonna give you my clubs that you always borrow." <laughs> so, That's a good yeah, birthday gift. Some? Yeah, Eric oh, gave me okay. his club that I was cool. yeah. I play in the Shawnee uh, uh, golf tournament area, the Fire Lake golf tournament. That's how I won my zero turn. You oh, know? Okay. I mean, that's what, hey, 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 don't get it twisted now. Oh, yeah? Don't get it twisted. I still think Charles I beat Barkley you. Swing. I got, hey, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, my, 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 my putt game is good, though. Oh, see, that's that's, that's my downfall my, my, right see, there. See, I'm going to get you on that putt. I can't I drive know. because I, I can get on the green in regulation. I just got to knock down he, the putt. I hit the ball. It might, it might, it, it, hey, we can go play nine hole. You can come join us, RT. Let's go. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. You let's golf, get it. Hey, y'all heard you kind of dressed like a golfer today. Man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he looked like a ready. I knew what y'all was going to be on. So I'm ready right now. Yeah, he looked like a broke Tiger Woods. Yeah. And you look like one who ate him. <laughs> yeah. he like a broke yeah, yeah. All right, let's get into these state champions. In uh, Class Six A, you got Norman North. Uh, class Five A, you got Duncan. Duncan is a powerhouse in Five A as far as golf goes uh, on the boys' side. And then you got a uh, Class Four A Heritage Hall, Class Three A Christian Heritage, and Class Two A you got Lada. And then girls' golf. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Girls yeah. golf, we got uh, Jinx winning 6A, Durant winning 5A, Hilldale winning 4A, uh, Oklahoma Christian winning two, 3A, sorry, and then Class 2A, you got Turner. And uh, what else? What is, well, we got tennis, too. What about track? We got any track? Oh, yeah, track. Let's do hey, track. Hey, hey I got to say one thing while you're looking for that. Yeah. You know what one, t- one school we haven't heard? What's that? Bigsby. Yeah. Bigsby usually dominate But, but come football season. We gonna be saying the name. But a lot. I, I'm just saying though, it's just so funny because how many, how they, how good they do in football, but their other sports are just averaging. I mean, they, I think uh, they, did they really won well in wrestling this year. They did yeah. well in wrestling. I think their girls won uh, basketball. They won no. basketball. The girls they went. I want to say it was. Uh, I don't think the girls won basketball. I might be wrong in, there. In, 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 five, fact, in six A. In six A, yeah. I want to say no. Norman North won. Remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah, Norman North. Where did I see some? Oh, they were just in the tournament. They, no, they, yeah. I think they was in the finals. Yeah, they was in the finals. Yeah, Edmund North won it. I mean, Edmund North won it. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, man, I lost it again. Track, track, track. Okay, here we go. So, boys track, you got uh, Westmore winning 6A. Uh, Big time zone. There you go, zone. <laughs> Take some of them players from the track field and put them on your football field, and you might be doing some damage. Yeah. And then you got uh, Piedmont winning 5A. Lincoln Christian winning 4A, Oklahoma Christian winning 3A, Rejoice Christian winning 2A, and Ringling winning Class A. And that's boys track, girls track. You got Jinx winning 6A, Bishop Kelly winning 5A, Weatherford winning 4A, Beggs winning 3A, Hooker winning 2A, and uh, Ceiling winning Class A. Big time. And then uh, let's give tennis some love. Let's uh, let's do these tennis teams real quick. So boys tennis. Class 6A, you got Jinx. Class 5A, Heritage Hall. And then Class 4A, you got Holland Hall. And then with the girls' tennis, we got Edmund North winning 6A, Casha Hall winning 5A, and Holland Hall winning 4A. Big time, big time. Well, folks, we're going to bring the special guest on. We're going to let him talk about spring ball, what he got going, a little peek under the tent, what he got going into the season, uh, any coaching changes, any, any new move-ins. What he looks like at quarterback, how to replace his quarterback, you know, his starting linebacker, Jason, and some of the guys that went off the call. So, yo, I will come back with Coach Jones after what? After one of our sponsors. Keeping it what? 100 Oklahoma High, High School, School Sports. Man, Dad, all this crazy weather has gotten our roof and gutters all messed up. Good thing we know some guys over at Rain Down Roofing and Gutters. They can inspect and repair your roof and gutters and get in contact with your insurance company in 72 hours or less. Call Jay Hunt at Rain Down Roofing and Gutters at 405-473-0674. No job is too big or too small for Rain Down Roofing and Gutters. Welcome back to Keeping 100 Oklahoma High School Sports on this Wednesday. 
And I do mean Wednesday, hot, hot, hot Wednesday. But we got a little spring ball going on. Yeah. And we got a special guest. Okay. Straight out of Dell City, Oklahoma, head coach. What's up? Second year head coach, Coach Robert Jones. What's up, Coach Jones? What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing, man? We're out here in this heat. Thinking out here, man. But I'm glad to have these, see these kids back in these pads and get out there a little bit. Well, Coach Jones, man, you know, I know you've been waiting to get back on the field, man. I mean, after you lost that heartbreaker last year to Sand Springs, a team that you know you was ten times better than, but, you know, the boys didn't come out and play the best game. And that's what happens at times, Coach. But I got to say, man, I know you're happy, and you got some things in the works which try to come out. But, you know, it's been your second year, Coach, and you can see things different this time around. So what, what do you feel about the team so far? I know you're just kicking off spring ball. Well, you know, obviously, you know, we lost an uh, athlete in the caliber of a David Stone. Anytime you lose the best, one of the best athletes in the state, um, you got to find a couple people to replace them. It's not going to just be one player. So we got a couple of young offensive linemen, um, I think, can step in place. And, you know, this is probably the biggest thing we've been since I've been at Dell City up front. But they got to get a lot tougher and get a lot ready for that action that we're going to get at the beginning of the season. And then skill-wise, I think we're right where we were in 2019 when we had the Foreman's kids and all those great athletes. We got a lot of skilled players. Um, you know, everybody already knows that the deal of Dell City, we got to get somebody to get in the ball quarterback-wise. So we got a wide-open quarterback competition with three different kids, DeMar and Turner, uh, Dede Godwin, and uh, George Goosby. So we got to find us a signal caller and somebody that can get these skilled kids the ball because if we can get them the ball and, and, and open up the field, along with the running game, we could be really special. And then defensively, um, you know, our defensive coordinator resigned last week um, for some personal reasons, so I'm going to step back into that role. You know, I was a defensive coordinator four years previously, well, really five years previously before stepping into the head coaching role. So um, just this past week, I found out that I'm going to have to be calling the defense, you know. So it's kind of – it's going to really help me mature as a head coach even more because um, last year I kind of, you know, just walking around, you know, you don't really get to call the defense. You know, you're not as energetic because you're not in the flow of things. So it's kind of giving me that, uh, you know, it kind of makes me feel like I'm being young again. I'm, I'm making game plans, um, practice plans, scripts, and all those things. So I'm kind of getting back in the mix. I'm ready to get my personality back set on that defense full time like I was previously at the coordinator. So um, I'm excited about it, man. I think we're going to have a great year. We're opening up with some tough competition, you know, uh, Coach Rose is one of my mentors. I still go eat dinner with him every Wednesday, and I remember he was playing at Carl Albert. One of the things we did is we always played tough competition early on because not just you really uh, – it, it counts, but it doesn't count as far as for the playoffs. And you got to have that mature mindset and understand that we want to play some tough competition, especially going down to 5A, because, you know, on our schedule, we don't play as tough teams as we did last year in 6A too. So we opened up with Choctaw. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, like I told our kids, we want to we want to own this area. You know, we beat Paul Albert in the newest city last year. Uh, you know, and Choctaw's next on the list. You know, so I want to see what we can do versus teams around this area. You know, I'm old fashioned. I think that's how you got to be for bagging bragging rights. Yes, sir. Then we're gonna go up the we're gonna go up the turnpike. You know, we want to call it the turnpike. Oh, we're gonna play Booker T. You know, I want to keep them on the schedule because anytime we go over to all the coaching clinics and all those where you go schedule the games, nobody wants to play Booker T. and nobody really wants to play us. So. You know, I'm, I want to play. I want to keep that game. I think they're both historical black schools that uh, have great athletes, great academics. So I'm excited about playing them. And then we play uh, Tony's uh, alumni, uh, Midwest City. So I'm looking bombers, forward to baby. it, man. Where the bombers at? Yeah, where the bombers at? Hoo hoo. Hey, they did great. Hey, hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. They brought home a state championship last week on the track, man, in the four by one. So they got some speed over there. Yeah, that's, so. that's it. That's it. That's it. But coach, congratulations to you. You brought home a state. Hey, hey, you can't just talk about the barbers. Don't. Hey, don't get me wrong. I like my black and gold, but I wear a little red and black too. But hey, you guys brought home a little bit of uh, a little bit of gold home too. Now in track, you know what? When I first got here, T, and everybody know what the fun four hundred is about. All these. When I first got here, everybody wanted to run the one hundred. Everybody run to run the 200. None of these kids run to run the 400 because that's a man's race. Yes, sir. So for us to for us to go out there and win a state championship and run the second, we were right behind Westmore. Westmore ran 319. We ran a 320. So for us to be able to mature over these four or five years and for me to get these athletes to buy into running the 400 and not only buy into it, to be able to go win a state championship, that's just a testament of where these kids are going and where they're coming from. You know, a lot of people think Dell City has a lot of hood kids, a lot of ghetto kids. It's not like that over there. These kids just need direction. I'm giving that direction, and they're following my lead. So I'm excited, man. They're starting not just to be great athletes, but they're starting to be great athletes that are tough, 
not only tough on the track and the field, but they're, they're, we didn't have no kids. For the first time since I've been here, we didn't have one kid on an eligible list on the last week of school. I have never had that. So yeah, these kids are starting – yeah, they're starting to figure it out, man. They really are. So I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see them keep growing. Well, Coach, man, it seems like you got everything clicking and going over there. But I got to say, you know, you got some some big, you know, like you said, you talk about some big time games. You know, you talk about Chata, you know, a guy that you that you know very well, Jake Corbin, that uh, you know has done some big things over there at Chata. You know, you talk about him. You talk about Coach Hall. You know, you talk about you don't get to play Coach Don this year. A guy that you work with in Texas and then in Oklahoma. You know, but I, I really feel like at the so end of the year. in the championship. I, I, that's what I was six to say, oh. RT. Don't steal the thunder. <laughs> Let me get to it. But I really feel like, really, I truly feel like it. Hey, like you talk about, you got a quarterback race with three guys. Somebody's got to step up and do the job. And you know, you know, I'm telling you, man, I, I spent a lot of time with you doing a, the Jones show last year. And I know what it's like, man. After you lost that, that Sand Springs game, man. You've been inching and inching to get back on the field to let people know, hey, man, Dell City's for real. And, and and I tell you all the time, I think if you get a guy that can sling the ball and, and you already got some guys that can run the ball and you got some guys that can run, you got Kanaja over there, he's getting all kind of offers yeah. left and right. And, uh, granted, you might have lost a David Stone, but you picked up three other kind of stones on the on the field people don't know about. But let's think about what you do at Dell City. You guys develop kids and you make them good. You can't do because this is the thing about David Stone. Granted, if you did have David Stone, say he say he tears his knee up, say he he, he breaks his ankle, you, you, yeah, you, you got to have play. somebody ready to go, and, and, and that's yeah. where you're going to be at. So I, I tell you, man, well, I'm excited. This gotta, so this is what people got to understand too. David Stone wasn't David Stone when we first got him. Yes, sir. I had that. You know, I remember David Stone starting to plan for me as a freshman before he got one offer. So you know, he got developed as well. Now, obviously, he got the God given height and talent, but David had a he had to buy into the offseason. He had to buy into the character development. So these kids buy into it over here. Or they, you know, they're not going to be here. They understand that. And they hadn't always been that way here. You know, the athletes kind of got to do what they want to do because people want to feel sorry for them in their home life. But regardless of your home life, when you walk into that school building, they ain't got nothing to do in the classroom or they ain't got nothing to do in the weight room or, or on the field. You got to leave that stuff at home or leave it wherever it needs to be. But when you walk into this building, we got a standard, and you got to stick to it. If you stick to that standard, you're going to put yourself in a position not only to be successful on the football field, but put yourself in a position to go get a college scholarship. we got two college co- recruiters out here right now. we got Murray State. Um, Kansas State was here earlier. Kansas was here. Um, so guys are coming. You know, we got a lot of skilled guys. And I think it's going to be a great year. And, and think about the quarterback thing. I got That's a real process that takes me getting down there to the middle school. And I got to really start developing those guys, not only in the middle school, but even the elementary school. Because this, is, I'm starting to understand around, you know, in, in our demographics, everybody always wants to put the best athlete at quarterback at an early age. But you got to get somebody with that prototype size. That you, you know, I know you can't tell if they're going to be six foot at that age, but you can kind of see how their arms are long and things like that. So I'm going to get down to the middle school, and we're going to run our offense from sixth grade all the way up to the 12th grade. So yes, by the time we get up here, we, our quarterback should be able to be a little bit more successful in the passing game. That's big time. So, Coach, I know you kind of talked about RT. You got anything you want to ask before we let Coach go? Yeah, I got two things for you. Uh, you mentioned something earlier, or Tony actually did, when he said, uh, you know, you lost that first playoff game when you had um, expected to go much further. And to what Tony says, you was inching and inching or itching to get back uh, back on the field so that you can get this going again. Um, I think that goes both ways. I think, yes, uh, you know, the beating that y'all put on the Titans, you know, Coach Dunn and them was not too pleased with that. So Man, they, don't talk hey, about hey, no Titans. Hey, hey, hold hey, on, hey, hold on. Hey, we got the Dell City on? helmet on here. <laughs> and, and the coach came from where? Okay, then. Ah! Check this out. Basically what I'm saying, those guys is ready, and I'm looking forward <laughs> to that battle, and I would love to see – Dell City Eagles and the Titans in the championship. That's 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 number one. Number two. I think it's gonna happen. You think it's gonna happen? I think it's gonna. I, I really do, man. Carl Albert got a, some some good quarterbacks. They they I think they got a good quarterback battle on their hands. I think they got a good quarterback on, battle hey, on their hey, hands hey, too. Hey, hey coach. You know? Okay, time out. Time out. Give me give me two seconds. Real two quick. seconds. Can I get two seconds? Yeah. I'm gonna ask you, coach, because you're a coach now. Yeah. I'm just a dad. Yeah. And love, loves football. Talks high school sports. <laughs> But I'm going to ask this one question because me and RT debated on this the other night. Yeah. Coach, think about it. You had a kid that took you to the semifinals, got beat because the kid on kickoff return from the ball could have took the ball down. He drove the ball all night down the field. Read the crazy. Why the hell would we have a quarterback battle? 
Because if the man, because if he wins state, are we talking about a quarterback battle here? Hell no. Come on, keep it 100. Is, does Top Talk got a quarterback battle? Still ain't won a yeah. championship, but they ain't got a quarterback battle? It's you always, got, tell me, tell me, tell me. No, it's always a no, battle. No, it's not a battle. You telling me right now. That's how you keep the kids engaged, man. focused, and driven. You never let them get comfortable. Man, if you JV, yes, if you JV, you JV. I agree with you. If you JV, you JV. Why not give this them a shot? Say. No, this I'm is just what telling I say. you. Man, I, this ain't the NFL. We don't have franchise quarterback. <laughs> you got to show up each year. You got to you gotta show up each, each year and prove it. One thing I was saying about the quarterback they had last year, I was more confident than I ever was going against Carl Albert because I knew the throwing game wasn't there. But he did improve. Yes, and sir. I've seen him at the track meet. I've seen him at the track meet. He's a great looking kid. But I saw that kid, uh, the other kid is a cash. I saw him throwing on Sunday. Man, he's a pure passer. And Carl Albert got some skill guys out there. Those guys got to get the ball because I know if I play against the guy I played against last year, I'm going to play straight man. We're going to see if he can get out of the pressure because I don't know if he can throw it in those tight windows. So we'll see. That's why I like this, sir. We keep it. We keep it. What? One on it. I got to join y'all on the Coach Jones show, man. At least one time. Coach Jones, hey, we have fun, man. We keep it. I'm telling you right now, we have a good time. Hey, that kid, hey, Tony, that kid Cash can slang it, man. I'm telling you. So man, you, can but you know, you know, Reed been going to uh, QB training. Since oh yeah, he can. Hey, yeah. hey, what's wrong with using having a package for both? You know, Boom. but I, I think I'm, I'm interested to see how. Hey, Coach do. Jones. I, hey, I, hey, I hope we see him in the championship. Hey, Coach Jones, tell him it's open transfer, baby. Anybody want to <laughs> <laughs> tell him it's open hey. transfer, baby? Hey, hey I'm scared to say that because nah, we don't I know, lost, we I know, lost too many over here. And I I'm know, man. Hear you, that. And they hey, might you, come get ours. Hey, yeah, you say that, man. You have OSSA and everybody else man. checking all your houses, apartments, uh, and anything else you got over there. But some uh, schools can get away with it. <laughs> and, but uh, on to my next question. Uh, by the way, congratulations on the job well done uh, last year. You had a very successful season. Um, if there was Thank anything you. that you would change going into this season, what would be your main focus? I think my main focus for me is continue to stay on the character development. I can't stress enough when these kids go home, they're not getting that two parent suburban type guidance at home. So. We're going to be able to run football schemes. We're going to be able to catch and run. They always have in Dale City. The difference was this year is that we really focused on character. We did uh, study hall. Um, I did classroom checks with the, the absences. Um, so I just want to continue doing that and even heighten it more, go learn from college coaches and what they do. You know, I had an hour conversation with the office of defensive coordinator for Oklahoma State, the new guy. Um, Mason, he was, he, we, we talked for an hour, man. He gave me so many great ideas. He's going to be with Mike Tomlin next week. Um, and he really talked to me about building the person. So I want to build a person. Football is going to be here, man. They, these kids are going to be able to play football. So I really want to focus on building the person and helping them understand how you treat people and how to give effort and how to handle your body language and things don't go right. And not to let people make excuses for you because you live in a certain part of the city or whatever. <laughs> Because you can come up out of that. So if I think if we continue to focus on character development, even if we don't win a state championship, I'm winning with these kids. That's, yes, what, I'm really that's, real, that's, you know, that's what I'm really here for. You know, that's what I'm really here for. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you got anything before we close up? Yeah. So uh, with spring ball and everything starting up, you know, uh, I just kind of know want to know uh, what the plans are uh, for your football team this spring. Are y'all having any uh, pad camps? Are you going to any? Are you hosting? What, what's the plan with that? Uh, well, right now uh, – we're just going through because we play both ways. So we're going an hour uh, defense and an hour offense, and I'm going to continue to do that because that just helps your depth, and I think it helps the overall knowledge of the game. Yeah. Um, I don't think that you could just focus on one side of the ball, and I think it helps recruiting. I think you just make them more marketable by playing both ways to me. You know, some people want to go one way. I just believe in giving kids a better chance to get marketable, to be marketable, and then we're going to Noble next week. You know, and it, it's going to be some talent there now. Y'all guys might want to come out there. He told me today was going to be there. It's going to be. Let me look at it. Hey, Carl, no Carl, 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 backed out. Oh, because yeah, they're, 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 they're hosting their own. Oh, okay. Who who they host? I think we just trying to make I think them a shorter drive. I mean, who you who you hosting <laughs> from down the street? Carl, who, Carl, who's Carl, Carl, Carl hosting? Got, they got I, I, John I, I Marshall, know, I, I believe. They're hosting. Elk City. I think it's like three schools: John Marshall and somebody else. John Marshall, Millwood, and U.S. Grant. No one's. Hey, nobody wants. Millwood got a nice running back. Okay. Yeah, I just met with the University of Buffalo, and I was shocked that he came all the way from New York, and he was coming down to see, um, I think his name is Hunt, 
from yep. Mill with the Ricky running back. Hunt. He's a play. He's a player, man. I tell you what. I don't know how they what, what goes on over there, but they always have one or two D one athletes. So, but yeah, at the pack camp next week, we got Noble, Bishop McGinnis, Lawton, Blanchard, Jones, McLeod, Chickasay. PC West, we'll see what Coach Willis does over there. I like it because I want to see Bishop McGinnis. I know they got a move in from Westmore that's supposed to be pretty good, and they always play good football. So we might see them in the state championship. So, yeah, they do. He's a player. So we might see them in the state championship. So I like to see how we match up against them. I think that they might get out there a little bit because we're still young. So um, I'm excited about it, man. I'm excited to be in 5A, too. You know, we haven't talked about that, but a lot of people – I think five A. I think five A might be tougher than six A two in my no, opinion no, with Bixby I, I, leaving. I agree with you on that. I'd, 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 have, I'd have to agree with you. Definitely with Bixby leaving, I think it. Yeah, with Bixby leaving, I think it's tough. I know Deer Creek's there, but I think five A two. I think five A may be better. I think I think PC North will be a team you got to watch out. I mean, you still got to watch out for the Yellow Jackets. Uh, you know, I, I still think Deer Creek's going to be the team that you that people's going to sleep on. I mean, people's going to sleep on because yeah, they got to the state championship last year. But I mean, I, when anytime you got a big time offensive lineman. And then you can live around the, the corner from uh, Edmund, you know. Tony, they got some athletes too. I remember you said that yeah, people. Going, I seen them. At, I seen them. At, well, I seen them at a middle middle school track meet, and they they had all brothers on a relay team, and I ain't never seen them. That's what so I'm they saying. Got some guys so you, over there. That's what I'm saying. You gonna have some kids move over. It, it, it's kind of like Chata, you know. I don't know if, if if you know not knocking Corbin and those guys, but I don't know if they had any big time movements like they had the last few years, you know. So. Uh, I mean, but I still think they're going to do things when you got still, you know, the quarterback. You know, they got... moved to R.J. Jackson. Every scout that came over is talking about R.J. Jackson playing defense again. So yeah, I yeah, think I they think finally. Get... I'm ready to see that. I think he. I think. I, I think he's going to be. I think he'll be as good as as, as Deshaun Brown was, or, or even better. That's what know? I'm hearing, Coach. I'm hearing he is a stud. I'm like, golly, I would say would have just kept him on offense for one more year. But... <laughs> he said one more year, but you know, I mean, I, I just think that I think it's you know, like R.T. said, I think five A. It's going to come down to, you know, Carl Albert and Dell City, you know, with the great athletes. You know, Carl Albert has is, 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 is done a great job, you know, Coach Dunn. And, and I'm, I'm going to say Andy because, you know, Andy's a Titan, you know. But I think they've done a great job. <laughs> Andy, I love you, boy. I love you. Uh, but I just think they've done a great job, you know, of, of getting kids in and, and doing it the right way, you know. And you know that, man. I mean, it's hard for you and Midwest City to kind of compete with that because, you know, kids, you know, if you're military, government, most of those people are moving moving into, you know. Because when you, cause when you win when you win as many championships as Carl Albert has won, why would you not take your kid there? Hell, I mean, they don't want no, so many no, state no, championships. you're right. You're exactly you know? right. And like I said, I, I think it's going to be wide open this year. Like, you know, like you both kind of said, you know, I think Carl Albert, I think, uh, you know, uh, I mean, you can't count Midwood City out because Midwood City's Midwood City. I know they got a new offensive coordinator. I think Carl, Coach Hall, you know, I think he's down to his last, you know, gritty days and he wouldn't like, it was nothing be best to go out with a state championship. You know, you can't count him out. Their quarterback's starting to get some love. Uh, I mean, you know, he got some, he got a couple offers. So, Hey, I think it's wide open this year. I think Dell City and Carl Albers are two front runners. Can't count on McAllister because they still got that linebacker right. and the yeah. running back. I mean, in the, the linebacker running back. So you can't count them out. And Collinsville, you never know what they're going to rebuild, though, man. You can't, Collinsville, you can't Collinsville. count them guys out, man. I mean, because sometimes when you kind of got that machine, it just keeps going. Kind of like Bigsby. But I do think 6A, 6A small is wide open. I, I, I don't, I don't think, I'm, I'm going to put it on the limb right here. You heard it first and keep it 100. I don't think Bigsby. Win six a big next year. I don't think Bigsby win six a big next year. Hey, when you lose Presley, I know they say they got the younger one coming up, but, but he ain't Presley, ready yet. He, look, he ain't yeah, ready. Yeah, you, you lose that tailback, man. That tailback, I can't. I coached him since two years, man. That's the most anxiety. Every play, you don't know what's gonna happen. Kid is so up. when you lose an athlete like that, and now you're gonna be playing against Jinx and Owasso, yeah. and yeah. It, it's gonna be a different monster yeah, now. So we'll see. I'm, I'm excited about it. Well, guys, anything else before we let Coach Jones go? I know he's out there trying to take care of biz and get them Eagles to that state championship. Spring ball, uh, spring ball last. When's it over next Next Friday? Yeah, next Friday will be the last day in pad camp in Noble. Well, Coach, I appreciate you coming on the show. Keep it 100. Oklahoma High School Sports, man, yep. it's always a pleasure to talk to you. You keep doing what you're doing, man. Second-year head coach, man. Keep taking care of biz. I know you said you lost your, your defensive coordinator, but what person wouldn't want to come coach and be your defensive coordinator. Yeah, you might have to handle the job this year, but you'll have plenty, 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 plenty of people knocking on the door to come work with you, Coach. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate you guys, right, man. No, no problem, man. You have a great night. Good luck, and we'll see you, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. All right, bye. Bye.
folks, that's Coach Jones from Dell City, Oklahoma, out there in the hot heat because we know it's hot because we're in this hot box ourselves. Yeah. But, hey, what we do is keep it 100 here. And I tell you, man, I, I, I love when you can talk football, man. I love when, when you can talk football because we all get excited. Football mm-hmm. gets you excited because you want to go hit somebody. You want to talk smash, trash, just like he said. You already said, man, man, Bishop could, Bishop could be right there with us in the state championship. Not taking nothing from Carl Albert. Hey, it's wide open. People can get hurt. He lost a big-time player in Stone. But I'll tell you, he got many, many, many other kids over there. And Carl Albert, they've had some great move-ins, a great tight end. I tell you, he's going to help them big-time uh, on the offense and defensive side of the ball. And like he talked about quarterback. I mean, you got two great quarterbacks. Sometimes it, 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 it sucks. But I tell you right now, I, I'm going to keep it real with you. I think Reed the Crazy goes to defense. He's going to have all kind of offense. The kid is a, I mean, the kid is built yeah, like a athlete. brick house. He looked like a Vernon Maxwell, just a lighter version. Yeah, he's one of the fastest, if not fastest, on the team. He got the best vertical. I mean, he can play basketball, quarterback, weak safety, running track, high jump. The kid does it all. So he's like your Army Swiss tonight. Yes. I, I'm telling you, what when coaches come over and, and look at spring ball and they see him, and they're like, can he play on the defensive side of the ball? And they're like, yeah. And they're like, okay. I mean, you got Buffalo out here. You got Murray State. He can go play for one of them schools as a defensive back. He can go play hey. for Oklahoma State as a defensive back. And a 4.0. And a 4.0. But he can jump out of a gym. I'm, I'm just telling you, man, the kid is, I mean, I, I'm telling you. I mean, granted, I know Cash. Everybody got is talking about Cash. But I'm still a firm believer. If a guy took me that far, I don't know if I'm going to bounce the other way. I'm, I'm, I'm Cash is just a junior. You're basically yeah. saying it, it is Reed's job to lose. Reed's job to lose. I wouldn't even be talking about quarterback versus why, 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 Felicia. Well, when you when you being a head coach, let's be realistic. And you know, both kids are great kids. Um, I do know that Cash watching him, you know, seven on seven and warming up, the kid can throw the ball a little bit. Um, but when you have a kid that came in his first year, he's an athlete. Learning the program, earning the trust of both the coaches, players, parents, and fans, and had a handful of turnovers and took them to the semis. Semis. They should have won, and they, they should have won I that think game. He did just about everything that was asked of him. Yes, sir. Um, so yes, it'd be sir. hard for me as a head coach to say, you know what? It's up for grabs. Um, if you did everything I asked you, then I got to let you continue to lead the team yes, sir. until I see. That, well, you got some room for improvement. This guy actually has the full package. Let's give him a shot. But I, I will probably have some packages in for both. No, no, I, I, I'm a firm believer that there's nothing wrong with a two quarterback system. But I'm saying I don't know. If we should be saying quarterback controversy. I me mean, when you got a guy that took you that far. But hey, I'm not the coach. I'm sitting here in the hot studio talking about sports. So I mean, I know Coach <laughs> Don and Coach Johnson do the right thing yep. for the program. So I mean, they both been coached long enough. And I'm not thinking either one of them guys are here to do any kid wrong. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, somebody has to lose. Just like wrestling, tennis, golf, somebody has to lose. So whoever wins the job, hope the other man is ready, prepared to go, because you never know. You're always one play away from being a starter. So and you, you had a good point. Um, Coach Johnson and Coach Dunn will make the best decision. Um, they've already taken steps to ensure that it's a fair opportunity for all. Yes, sir. Yes, um, sir. And just from a parent on the outside looking in, and when I mean outside, outside looking in, um, they're, <laughs> they're doing everything to ensure that the kids feel comfortable. There's no bias. They're doing everything to bring the best out of each player, well, I, and that will that they will make the right decision. Well, by, RT, by I week mean, four. Well, RT, I have, to, I have to say, you know, I mean, granted, what position Reed is quarterback or he's defensive back. As long as he's on the field helping the team win, which is all you that matters. The best chance because to win with Reed on the field. That, that, that's all that matters because I'm telling you, the kid playing safety. He's going to do a lot of damage on that side of the ball, too. And somebody's going to pick him up. I mean, is his arm the greatest? No, but, I mean, the kid have is an athlete. Lately? You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen it lately, but you I'm saying. Check him out. Yeah, check. <laughs> hey, what you say? Let's say the label got it straight. Man. <laughs> but I, I'm just saying, so the kid's going to get picked up. He's going to get a scholarship. And like I tell everybody all the time, man, it don't matter where you go to school. It's where you get that degree from. There you, you go. You know, I, I, I'm a firm believer in that. I was a daddy that was all about D1, D1, D1. Man, my kid's been going up to Oklahoma State and wrestling D1 guys, and guess what? He's getting them the business. And guess what? He's D2. So it doesn't matter where you go to school. It's about what you're doing and how right. you're taking care of business. And, and yeah. going back to Reed, not to be biased or bragging or anything, but when you have a kid that's an athlete that can play both sides of the ball, including special teams and then also basketball and track, in addition to that, you throw that 4.0 out there, you can – 
get a combination of the athletic part of the scholarship as yes, well sir. as academics, academics. put it together, and that's his full ride. That's, that's big time. Yeah. Well, like I said, you know, I think 6A big, you know, uh, before we get out of here, I think 6A big is going to be wide open. I know everybody kind of got pimped. Bigsby penciled in, but I don't think Bigsby's going to win it. I think it's going to be wide open. I think uh, I think some teams got to take care of business. You got to welcome uh, coach, you know, coach uh, Brian over to Moore. You know, and he's going to try to put his name. He got two great players with you know, and the quarterback with Wolf, and then the running back with you know C, and then the CJ kid. So I just think that uh, you can't count Moore out. You know, they did some big things last year. I know they coach left, but I think you got a better coach and coach Bryant. A guy that's been on the defensive side of the ball. You bring somebody a little bit of offensive mind involved. You can do some big things with those guys you got in Wolf and in the you know in the young kid in CJ. Uh, I think Westmore. Uh, you know, I mean, it's like he just said. You know, Zoe lost one of his better players to to, to Bishop McGinnis. Uh, you can't lose players that think you're going to compete for a state championship or even a playoff. I mean, I think Zoe's fighting for more to get in the playoffs in a, in a state championship. I mean, with that schedule so tough, you know and you know, in sophomore, you know what they are. I mean, I know they got a new coach, but, man, they ain't won a game in two years. And I, I'm going to tell you right now, I think it's going to be three years. I mean, not knocking them guys, but, you know, when you, when you only have 30, 40 some kids going out for the team, I yeah. mean, where you gonna, how, how are you going to recover? You know, I mean, if, if I'm a kid that lives in Moore, do I go to Moore? Do I go to Westmore? Do I go to, I mean, Southmore is going to be the last choice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to dock you, coach. I'm just keeping it 100. But I just think that, you know, hey, I, I, it's kind of like over here, you know, like, it was like, you know, Coach Jones said, you know, he wants bragging rights. He's already beat Memphis City. He's already beat Carl Albert. Hey, if he can knock off, uh, Cha Cha being a 5A school and, 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 and <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't do that every year. It starts over. What, what you trying to say? You think Carl going to be back? I mean, that, I mean, that's what, is that's that what you're trying what to I'm tell? I'm saying it's just like this idea with every position. It's open to whomever wants it the most. I, 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 I think. But we can't be holding on to last year's success and thinking it's going to carry <laughs> over. That'll get us beat in the first round. Who, who are you talking about? What team? Any team? Any team that got beat in the first round going off last year's success. Well, I mean, I don't know. Did I'm it not... happen to Choctaw? And it happened to Dale City. It's a new day. <laughs> So what happened to Carl Albert? They was going off that championship of winning five in a row, and then they got this close from getting to six in a row. So it's now they got to start over. This is the third time they're trying to make that six in a row. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, what you got to say over there? What you got to say? Uh, I'm well, just excited for football season to start up. I mean, I've been ready ever since. Um you went up there ended, and so. took a picture and hugged Baker Makefield's trophy. <laughs> I mean, what's going to happen to Baker, Biggie? I know you the college, the college and high school. So I know, times. but I'm saying, but he still ain't it got a job. New developments. It could have been new developments. I mean, he ain't got a job, Biggie. Uh, I, I, like I said, I think he stays the backup for Cleveland this year. Okay, he tell me this, though. I know oh, you had some couple guys that left other schools and came back home that was here in Oklahoma and they came back home. Uh, like, why Why you think that happened? What do you mean? Like you have people that – no, no, like a player. I think we were talking about the other night. We all kind of on the group text and we talked about Oh, you're talking about that transfer they got from Missouri? Yeah, Missouri. J.J. Hester? Yeah, J.J. Hester. Yeah, so, uh, you know, he – I guess he got a little homesick. But actually, I think what happened was is there's a relationship between him because uh, one of the wide receiver assistants came from Missouri. Mm. And he's on the OU staff now, so I think they might have. Folks, y'all ain't getting that from anybody. You got to pay for that from the suitor.com. You get it free right here. Keep it 100. That's it. That's it. That's it. But yeah, so I mean, uh, I think think OU addressed every single needed that they needed in the transfer portal. They got, uh, they're going to have a little QB competition for QB2. QB booty? Yeah. Time out, time out. QB2. I don't think QB1's that good. QB1 is QB1. Dylan Gabriel, he's going to be your starter, hundred yeah, percent. I mean, unless if he gets injured, like some. I'm gonna tell you, RT, knock on wood, it I don't mean, happen. I, I, I'm gonna tell you, they they they, they might go eight. What are you basing they, it off of? Why yeah, do you think I mean, he's not good? Yeah, what are you basing? They, go watch his film yeah, at UCF. I mean, I, look at the numbers he put up against uh, UCF. 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 And UCF. then if you're going to talk about spring, they're running a vanilla offense and ran the ball most of the time. Okay, of course, they're okay. not going to show everything. Uh, you can't show everything in no. spring ball. I mean, his tattoo looked bigger than him. Wait for you. What? Wait for week one. You, we play UTEP, which UTEP is actually coming off a pretty good year. Yeah. I think. I mean, I, I, it could I'm be just a telling you. Game, I'm, I'm just telling lie. you. Me, I mean, I, I love my Sooners, but I'm gonna say eight and four. Eight and four. Ten and two. Who wins the Big Twelve? If it's not OU, it's Baylor. Okay. Well, Baylor heard. goes back to back. But. Okay. 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 But. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I'm just ready for football season, high school, college, NFL, all levels. I mean, that's my sport. I, I sit down 
once football Friday nights I'm watching a game Saturdays I'm watching games all day and then Sunday I'm, after church I'm watching games all day so I mean I'm just ready for that to be on my schedule um, ready to see um, what OU can do what my Yellow Jackets can do and what the Packers can do this year so uh, oh, you, yeah. had, you didn't find a new high school team yet? Why would I need to find a new high school team? Oh. That's my alma mater. Yeah. My degree says Choctaw on there. Why would I why would I go find another school? I'm not you, Tony. Uh oh. <laughs> what you trying to Uh-oh. say? I'm not I'm not gonna Uh-oh. be you're not gonna catch me wearing black and gold. Okay. You're not gonna catch me wearing black and red, right gray and scarlet and gray, whatever they call it over there. Hey, you know. Hey, I'm with keep it one hundred. I'm loyal I wear and all true. The colors. Loyal and true. I wear all the colors, E. That's fine. Colors. I don't. I stick with one team and I ride it I ride it out. There you go. Okay. So they got one state. Loyal. They got one state. Uh, I think they have a really good chance to shoot. Okay. I think they have a really good chance. Still the number one quarterback in the state. Still. And I think he's just gotten better. I've been seeing some of his highlights with uh, well, seven so on seven and over the summer and everything. He, I think you should have him on the show. Him. I think you should have him or Corbin on the show pretty I, soon. I, no, seriously. Yeah. Still is, for me, personally, is the number one quarterback in the state. I want me a hat. You want that Man of Steel hat? Man of Steel. I'm going to put 100 on the side of it. <laughs> and you got NIL? Yeah. Get yeah. ready, Steel. Go yeah. get your money. Go get your money still. And Ronnie, don't take none of it. Jill, you go take care of it. Just joking. <laughs> no. But no, big time, man. I think the kid's going to be a stud. I think RJ yeah. going to move into the defensive side of the ball is going to be good. Man, hearing uh, that, Charlton going to have a pretty mean pass rush between RJ and uh, Smith. Smith. Hey, they had another kid that just got an offer. Um, the basketball kill kid. Uh, I don't know. Did he play football too? Will. I think it's Will. Yo, yeah, Will. Will yeah, Will kid. Smith. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he's got offers from – Football, basketball. I mean, kid's just an athlete. Yeah, really big time. Is, so. so that's big time, big time, big time. Well, folks, you know, that's what we do here, man. That's we, what we, we do. We, yeah. we, we talk high school sports. We talk about everybody. Not just anybody, but everybody. I, I told you I'm excited. Football's right around the corner. I might try to go catch some of the spring games. This week I plan on trying to hit some, some practice. But, hey, baby girl call. I had to go run out to Wichita. We're playing in Arkansas this weekend. So, I had to go make sure we were ready for that. Um, okay, you're going to be ready next week. Maybe Friday we can check out a pad camp or something. You won't be here. I'll be here Friday. Oh, next you... Friday. Not this Friday. Next Friday. It'll be right before you walk baby girl down the aisle. Okay, but... okay. Yeah, I'm off I next know. Friday. I, we can go do that because I'm off next Friday. Okay, I got to okay. pick up some beverages for, the for you know, okay. the stock the shelves over at the... At the, the at the at the reception place, yeah, I when gotta get them ready. We'll be there. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm clean as a whistle. Yeah, <laughs> clean as a whistle. Okay, <laughs> can't whistle that good. But hey, I'm excited. Actually, I get to walk my baby girl down the aisle. He's excited. His baby boy. And this is a funny story. Before we let everybody go, our kids dated in junior high. <laughs> you letting out secrets? They dated in junior high, <laughs> but instead they became really, really good friends. Yep. I mean, RT was like a little uh, a big brother to Gabe when he was over at Carl Albert. You know, wrestling in the middle school. So, I mean, we've been, me and Archie's been knowing each other since we were, I was, years. In, in years, 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 years. 39 I was, and a half yeah. years. So, I mean, our moms know each other. Uh, you know, RT's sisters, I mean, I went to school with them. I mean, it's like family here. He's become part of our family, man. I mean, he can just walk in the house, back to where you mess with him. So, I mean, this is how it is, folks. I mean, we're having a good time doing this show, yep. man. You know, like I said, we will do the scholarship again. Uh, we're not, nothing's going to fall off, man. You know, football season's going to be exciting. Uh, congratulations one more time to Miss uh, Kayvon Newby at Edmond Memorial for winning, you know, the hundred meter hurdles and, uh, and, and 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 Garrett Garrett Flaggart. Flaggart, you know, for tying a home run, you know, at Chata and this for and receiving a D one offer, man. I mean, that's just big time, man. The kid deserved it. He worked his butt off, and hard work pays off, man. And and, and that's what everybody should look at these two young individuals, what they did to to, to get themselves to to the next level, because. Uh, I do believe Miss Newby will, will run Division One track, and I do oh, believe, uh, you know, uh, Flagger would play Division One baseball. You know, I know a lot of people can sit back at home and like, man, what are you? The kid worked his butt off, man. I mean, I mean, the kid was in the gym. The kid was hitting, 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 hitting off the tee, and that's what it is, man. Hard work pays off. Off, it really off, does. Off. It, it really does, does. It does. It does. But folks. Yep. RT, Big E, y'all got anything before we close this out? Uh, just piggybacking yeah. on what. Tony said uh, he kind of gave you a breakdown of, like, um, the family history. And as he said, Big E is like family. And, and and I don't mean to be funny. You know, I joke a lot. But as you see, it's a different shades of color up here. <laughs> a lot of that. No, seriously, real talk. A lot of the, uh, Who's the stuff that. Who's the I think that, it's me. That, that, that dummy right there. <laughs> but seriously, what I'm trying to say is a oh, lot of stuff that you're seeing on the news Man, I'm glad about the mass that. shooting and everything, that really has to stop. At the end of the day, we're always going to have differences, but it's yes, not sir. that serious to go out there 
and hunt someone down as if you were going to eat them for dinner. It's not cool. It's got to stop. You gotta we got to be pro- part of the solution and not the problem. So, uh, you know, having those tough conversations, helping someone else with a different background, kind of understand your background. And ultimately, once we get a better understanding of each other, we will know how to speak each other's language, know how to interact. And we shouldn't have those problems. I'm glad he said that. I had it on my notes to talk about that. And, I mean, he, he hit the nail. Boom. I mean, because I'm, I'm telling you, folks, I've been sick about it, man. As I've gotten older, I'm 50-some years old, man. And you see an older black woman get shot being 87 years old, coming home from, from, from visiting her husband in a nursing home. And she goes and stops and, you know, grabs whatever she needs to grab and gets shot because some idiot, excuse my French, wants to drive 200-some miles and come play Hey, let's shoot up black people, Mexicans or whatever. They're not my race. To me, man, you're not a man. You know, your mom and dad should be smacked. I was, I'm, I'm telling you, I was so pissed Saturday night watching that. It just, it, cause my kids are about racial. I've never taught color. My, 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 my son-in-law is, is a white gentleman, six, seven, great young man. I mean, my, 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 my son, Deshaun, his, his, you know, his, his girlfriend is a white girl. Uh, I don't see color in this house. And, and, and so color is taught in, in your house. Because my granddaughter can go to the playground and play with a little white girl, or a little black boy, or a little Mexican kid, and, 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 and play and have a good time. That is taught in the house. So if you're teaching that in your house, and that's what you want to do, because when we're playing football, we lock arms as brothers. You know what I'm saying? So if, if, if you got a kid that has racism problems, you need to go get checked out. Because, man, this world has everything now. It ain't no more blacks. It ain't no more whites. It ain't no more Mexicans. Everybody's everybody. Yep. I mean, you you, you got to sit back and look at the. I, I mean, I, I'm just I'm telling you, it, it really pissed me off to see that. I mean, not not just one person get shot, but everybody that got shot for what reason? You're in a grocery store, man. So now I'm scared to take my butt, and I work in grocery stores all day, and, and worry about somebody gonna come shoot it up. Or if I go eat lunch, if I go eat dinner, I I, I want to just sit on my couch because I'm scared because. A coward like him that probably played a video game, got caught up with some guys on, on, on the internet, and, and became some racist. I mean, you're not a man. You're not. And, and I'm upset with the cops. How can he walk out no and, and not have a cut on him? But we got black men get beat. To, man, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Yeah. I'm going to stop. But, hey, we thank you for watching another great show of what? Keeping it 100. Oklahoma, Oklahoma High, High School, School Sports. Sports. We'll see, see you next time. time.